Today's food for thought comes from the third chapter of 1 John verses 18 and 19 which reads, My little children, let us not love in word or in tongue, but in deed and in truth. And by this we know that we are of the truth and shall assure our hearts before him. What's that old saying? Don't just talk about it, but be about it. I imagine you've heard that one before, right? Well, let me tell you something today. When it comes to the gospel, that saying holds very true. You see, it's not enough for you to say that you believe in God. It is not enough for you to say that you love. You see, as you've heard me say before, actions, they speak louder than words. And this scripture here from John, John, he was calling out those that love to profess their faith in the Lord. Those that love to say that they have love, but they never showed their faith. They never showed their love. They did not have any works. You see, there are many today who still love to profess that they are a child of God, but then you take a look at their actions. You watch them and you see that in the manner in which they live, their living betrays everything about their profession of faith. One who professes to be of faith, but moves out of anger, moves out of hatred, moves with wrath stored up in their hearts. They move in a manner that is in total opposition of Christ. Think about it. How did Christ move? Well, Christ, he moved out of love. God, he is love. And those who love to proclaim that they are a child of God, they should move and be just as God. If you profess to be a child of God, then your profession must be shown in deed and in truth. Because I want you to know your words, they aren't enough. So let us labor from a pure heart and let us labor with sincerity. Let us live in sincerity. When you and I live, when we move in this manner, we please the Lord and we assure our hearts and our works for the day when we stand before the judgment seat of Christ. I hope my thought for today has given you something to think about, and I hope that it will encourage you, that it will uplift you, and that it will motivate you as well. Be sure that you share this thought with someone somewhere, and if you haven't already done so, make sure that you're following this channel so that you can always receive my next Food for Thought.